One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. Hello, it's me, Joe, again, and today I'd like to introduce you to the Table of Time. The Table of Time is an exercise that allows us to develop a really good sense of the different rates of speed of rhythmic notation that we need to understand in order to play the drums or any other instrument for that matter. So I'm going to explain how to count quarter notes, eighth notes, triplets and sixteenths. In the UK these would be known as crotchets, quavers, quaver triplets and semi-quavers although I'm not terribly keen on that terminology, it all sounds a bit silly to me. Let's start with quarter notes. I'm just going to count four equal beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And clap. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Those are your quarter notes. Next, I'm going to add an and in between each one of the numbers to give me eighth notes. This means that for every number that I'm counting, I've got two pulses with my voice. It goes like this. One and two and three and four and 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 I'm going to add the clap on the one, two, three and four so that I'm going to be clapping quarters but my voice is going to be making eighth notes because I'm, I'll be making two sounds for every clap. It goes like this. One and two and three and four and 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 next let's count triplets. For every number that I count, I'm making three sounds with my voice. I'm dividing each beat into three. It goes like this. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a and with clapping goes like this. I'm still clapping quarter notes and I'm saying or singing triplets. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two. A three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a and a two and a three and a four and a. Finally, let's do some sixteenths. With sixteenths, I'm dividing each count or each beat into four sounds. So we're playing uh, four times as fast as the quarter notes, and we count like this. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one the two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. Now I'm going to clap. My hands are clapping quarter notes, and my voice will be saying or singing the sixteenths like this. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. Now you can count each one of those note values. Let's put them together so that we count one bar of each. Goes like this: one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and a two and a and a four and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one, two, three, 
four, one and two and three and four and one and a two and a three and a four and a one e and a two and a three e and a four e and a one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and a two and a three, four and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one and a two and a three, four and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and a two and a three and a and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a done. Practice counting and clapping the quarter notes, eighth notes, triplets and sixteenths until you've really internalised it. Make sure you get so comfortable with it you can't get it wrong. A cool thing about this is you can practice doing it when you're in the queue at the supermarket, when you're on the loo in the morning, or when you're doing the washing up. Uh, there isn't really many situations where you couldn't be at least counting to yourself. So get really, really comfortable with this. It provides a great basis for understanding the structure of rhythm as we're going to use it when we're playing any forms of Western popular music. In my next video, I'm going to show you how we can start learning how to use a metronome or click to uh, count the table of time. And then uh, the following videos, I'm going to introduce you to ways we can use this to improve our timing and our understanding of rhythm in general on the drum kit. It might not immediately make sense why this is a really useful thing to be able to do. So uh, maybe you just need to trust me and practice counting. Thanks for watching this. I hope you found this interesting or useful or entertaining or something. Uh, leave me some, some comments and let me know what you thought. Now go away and practice.